Okay, we're back with the Thousand Operation. Oh yeah, special thanks to all you crazy bastards on YouTube who comment on this. I'm both happy and disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you guys are great. Alright, let's play this. We've been given orders for our next mission. The militia's taking back the city of Fausen. Thousands, that big industrial city with all those ragnite mines, right? Yes. If we manage to reclaim it, it'll be a shot in the arm to Galia's productivity. Sounds good. So what's the plan, boss? How easy is it gotta be to mine something that the glows in the dark? The militia will break up into squads <laughs> and set up a perimeter around the city. Once that's set, Squad 7 takes the point. Here, look at this. Yep, that's a model train right there. A rail vehicle? Right. They installed it to defend their hold on the city. Now our mission is to destroy it. We get to blow up a train. Yay! We gotta shoot it in the train butt. Right in the train butt. Yeah, okay, so we destroy the it. The caboose. Any idea how we take yes. a beast like that? Gonna take a lot more than a pack of soldiers marching at it to do that, boss. Summon forth the flying pigs. <laughs> I have a plan. Don't worry. We've got some hefty support on this one. Support? Like who? Flying pigs? You know that Darksons from Empire-held areas have been brought there, right? Oh god, it's the camps. Mm. I've heard stories, yes. That they're being used as forced labor in the Ragnite mines and weapons factories. Uh, that's probably bad. According to Captain Varat, one of the men in the camps is acting as our agent. We've got a spy? Yay! Here I get my hopes up and it's just some dark hair. Got any more great news? Bitch? Yeah, you're not coming. What do you mean by that? Hmm. I'm just saying, I hope this guy's not as stubborn as someone else we know. I think that like somebody you? needs to get hit with another volleyball. Please stop judging people solely by your preconceptions. All Darksons are different. No two Darksons are not on fire. Sure could have fooled me. <laughs> I couldn't tell you dark hairs apart if I tried. Punch her! I don't believe you have ever really tried, Rosie. I can see how that'd be so difficult considering your eyes are missing. <laughs> no, you just didn't. Oh, she did. What are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do? Uh, just drop it already. We're soldiers. We'll do our best out there. If the orders say we work with a Darkson, we do. That said, I ain't making any promises if this guy turns out to be useless. Here. See, that's good. If someone's useless, do drop them. Take Rosie for well, example. We can't know for <laughs> sure until we meet him, but the mission hinges on him. We begin the march on Fausen at first light. The attack begins at sundown. So we're gonna spend all day walking? Can we just blow things up already, please? No, we have to see. This is in fact the concentration camp. Holy shit, they're not, they're not fucking around. Pretty soon we're gonna have to play Welkin's List. <laughs> Tent is unbearable. Well, you know, maybe you shouldn't have eaten that. Please, some food, sir. Even water would. Uh, keep your distance. Is Gregor gonna have to slap a bitch? I think Gregor just slapped a bitch. Sumptuous, dark haired, filthy. Where is the one responsible for this hovel? Gee, it's funny how when you don't give them any shower or way to, like, keep clean, they're kind of right? smelly. A pirate! I hear a worker in Sector D has been disobeying his work orders. Would you care to explain this infraction? So people can't handle the He's D. He's not disobeying you. He's been sick as a dog for a couple of days now. That is so Mugen, it's not even funny. <laughs> Folks from other camps working D Sector have gotten sick lately too. One's in a coma. 
That's where they See, handle they just couldn't handle the D. Sure the toxic exhaust is being handled right? <laughs> That's no concern of yours or mine. You animals need only be silent and obey. Kick him in the balls. I don't know if he's got any. Let's think of it this way. You drive them to death and the work Punch stops Punch him in the face. Done. He's got one that of those. Doesn't help you much, eh? Hmm. <laughs> I'll let you know as soon as he can work. Think you could let him rest for now? <laughs> Very well. Have him return to work the minute he's able. And remember, no one would miss the likes of a few of you maggots. <laughs> so, when do we get to burn his face off? Soon, I hope. We will melt his face with the power of rock. <laughs> Here is your mission brief. Operation Face Melting Rock Gods. Empire's got some bullshit. They got stupid train rides that only little kids would like. Then they need to get some real ballsy stuff, like a tilt a whirl. <laughs> Beat the shit out of that thing. So, have you ever heard of this game called Super Time Force Ultra? No. Well, Super Time Force Ultra, or STFU as it's known as, <laughs> is a game where you have time traveling shenanigans. For, like, going back in time and getting stuff for, like, the dumbest of reasons. For it's like, we're going to save the dinosaurs from becoming extinct, because how cool would that be? <laughs> or, uh... It's like my favorite Camelot themed restaurant's going out of business, so we're gonna go to real Camelot and get <laughs> and bring them forward. And like you can recruit Merlin and shit. That's good. Rosie, you get to be here in the shame corner. <laughs> and we need an NG. And we could use a shock. Okay. There the we go. The point that you can cap is so far <laughs> late into it, there's not really a point in keeping open spaces. Yeah. Okay, oh, yeah, let's do this! Deploy! If there are no questions, let's get started. I wish you good luck and happy hunting. I like the fact that she's acknowledged that we are not just soldiers, we are hunting. Yep. The most dangerous Our top of game. priority is to get to the Clones. rendezvous point. Squad I mean, 7, man. move out! Like, there's a certain point that each commanding officer has to learn. They're commanding a group of fucked this up people. Like just let them at it. Let's move carefully here. You just let us off our leash and watch what happens. In horror. My turn, okay? Okay. I'm gonna go on the train ride. Yay, trains! There's a train. There's there. Incoming there news from the big giant head. Using the trolley cars around town. Shut up! I want to get on the train. And they can only fit one person, but they may get you. Shut up, the train. Enemy. I'm sorry. Are you a train? No. Go away. Train. Woohoo! Hello! Are you waiting for the train? Too bad. Double tap! That's cold. That's efficient. Just keep up this pace. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Get out again! Tighten up <laughs> Oh, we brought it back! Oh, yeah! Shit! Uh, I just uh, noticed we got the new guns with our fucking grenade launcher attachment. Yay! For funsies. You should use it for funsies. Well, I already fought. Oh, that's right. Duck. Use. I'm gonna shoot him. I'm gonna shoot him. Do it. Or you can have her shoot him. Yes. That, is, that obviously must happen. And then she should take a train ride. 
Hello. Hello, friend. Have you ever had your ears pierced? Good night. Two for one special. Sweet <laughs> dreams. Enemy unit neutralized. That's a polite way of saying enemy unit shot the fuck up. Understood. Get on the train. Getting on the train. And she's on there like, we. It's a big enough target. Try not to miss it. If you want to talk about your genitals you like that, you know, that's your opinion, but I don't think it's very sanitary. I don't see anybody over there. Probably just hidden. If I ran a scout through all this, everybody would show up. It's okay. There's plenty of people to kill. <laughs> it's just like decisive. It's like, bam, you're fucked. Tank. Here we go. Take it away. Here we go. Waha. Imagine a tank with like. Gotta love nature. Damn it, Welkin! This, this is a fucking concentration camp, Welkin. There's a time and a place to say this is nature. Just I have, in case. I have a feeling. I just want to try it. Yeah, do it. Just to, you know, spread the fear. Yep. Sometimes you just gotta spread the fear. You gotta just spread it on there. No problem, boss. She calls me boss. Okay, what are we gonna up here? Keep moving. Go. Do we have any terrified enemy units? Damn it, nature. See, she is anti-nature. Enemy spotted. I feel like that's about where we were aiming. Uh, she doesn't seem like the most accurate, so I'm gonna get a little closer. Stealth is what I do, baby. All right. But you get pollen allergies. <laughs> but you like being in the, in the grass. But you're stealthy. I'll make it work. Surprise, motherfucker! Even though he was shooting at her the entire way. <laughs> The fuck? Well then. Good thing that wasn't a big waste of time. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna bring up Carl. Understood. Carl needs to be near his tank friends. Plus I already shot off a mortar. Tank command, move out. Hi Tippy. Keep the of the situation. You know, I kind of wish that the side characters appeared in, like, the cinematics of stuff. Yeah. You know, just as background people, like, just interchangeable even, but just so you can see their skins. Yeah, totally. I'll do my best. Meanwhile, we've got Duchess Aisha after her whole time of saving the princess. <laughs> She may or may not have gotten a cake out of it. I'll take care of it. I'm just bringing people up at this point. That's fine. Huh. Let's drag Largo's fat ass up there. Just watch this. All right, we're watching. Suddenly, he just shoots the lance behind him and just rockets forward. <laughs> that would be fucking amazing. That would be pretty good. Just does like the whole reverse rocket man thing. <laughs> or sort of like how Godzilla flies. Have you ever seen that? No. Godzilla has flown before by blasting his fire in the backwards. And he's just like, bah, and he's like flying back. I see. When you said backwards for a second, I thought you meant like in Guards Guards, where the drag, the swamp dragon shoots the fire out of his butt instead, and that's how he flies. Yeah. 
Well, at least he's as terrible at shooting as we are. Yeah, but we're being stealthy. Stealthy! Ah! Uh, really? Three hit points! Try again, dude. Go for it. You ass. Alright, fine. Tippy. Out. Fuck up this guy's shit. Shoot him in the butt. Wait, Ooh. he's facing the wrong way. No, I'm going to try and use the new fucking grenade launcher. Yay! Tighten up perimeter defenses. wonder how good the range is on this thing. Hello! Ah, hello, game changer! <laughs> we are going to have a bitchin' day. How do you lock onto him? Well, might, you might not quite be close enough. I might be. No, you're. Yeah. Can I also throw? I, I can. So. If you get a little closer so we can actually. Because I, I, I can't quite tell if we're hitting him or not. There, there we is. go. That's the ticket. Fire! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> <laughs> if you're gonna be dumb, you gotta be tough. 